Okay, and how would I do that? Well, I would need a hole in order to do that. And since there's going to be a natural hole in the back here, that's where I would aim that to be. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Again, let's go in here and hide some stuff. in here and destroy some stuff. Move that 3D cursor, it's bothering me. Okay, I'm just going to destroy those faces. Also going to destroy these two faces. and control R to insert an edge loop here. I guess I could mirror this, but for right now I'm just being lazy. Like that. And then I'm going to merge these points together. This one and this one. Merge. Now I could go at first so what would happen here is I would need to select this one, then this one, and then merge at first. And just work my voodoo the other way here. And there we go. So now that will flow into the nasal one right here a little bit better. I could do that technically up here too so I get a better flow. Um, again let's kinda look at this real quick. Okay look at how well that flows in now. Okay up here I would say this needs to flow See, there is no technical gap right there. But now that we have the nasal ridge in place, we could do that. Okay, this time there is no hole. So how do we do that? Hmm. Well, first off, we get rid of that. Then we get these as close as possible. And this time I'm going to wipe out one side of the character. Okay, um, I would suggest show hidden first before we do that. Go into face mode. Wipe out one side of the character. Okay. Now it wouldn't be too bad to um, get an edge loop in this area just to go. Of course Blender doesn't support end guns as far as uh, just throwing in an edge. Like I couldn't just throw in an edge right from here to here just to connect this. It won't let you do that. Um, later on there's a there's an add-on that we're going to be looking at. It's called B-Mesh. B-Mesh allows you to do screwy stuff like that. But for right now we're abiding by the laws of um, Blender until that actually comes out to be less beta because there's some issues somewhere around there with those uh, type of tools. Okay, so let's destroy. It's so much easier just to destroy. Just 
jump in there. Okay, so now we can just start moving in some of this stuff. Straighten that out. W. Just like that. Okay, and now I'll grab some edges. And sometimes I'll work on this a little bit at a time, like Control E, just this section right here. And move that out. Connect these. And then just work it a little bit at a time until you get it all the way around. Because there's some stuff that you have to kind of think ahead. Okay, and that means I could connect these two and I would have a little bit of a flow. So F on the keyboard. Okay, and then I just had to straighten out the midline. You can see right here the midline is broke. Well, very easy to fix that. You just grab these vertices right here, minus the one in the back. Scale flat. W on the keyboard to move it right here. Okay, and there we go. I've now made it so it flows back in. And of course, I'm going to have to f uh, work this magic right here. If you can see, uh, this is needs to be now moved and sculpted forward. I could do that right now because it would be a little bit easier less stuff in the way. I don't think I've worked too much in this area anyway. Needs to be a little bit better. There. There. When you have half a character, you might as well take advantage of it. There's a lot of stuff out of your way. Straighten up some of this flow. Leave that flow alone. Alright, there we go. So that is how to uh, put it so the eye socket ridge goes right into, um, it flows into the side here. mirror modifier it and let's also maybe add another one in here like a multi-res and you can see how much better that flows around alright let's move on to the next video